What is the definition of a square root? I don't know why I do some of these things. I just, I just like to have fun. Um, so what is the definition of a square root? So we've um, talked about square roots, maybe, if you check some videos. Um, but we've looked at you know, a number with this little symbol, which we call the radical symbol, and then the number inside, which we call the radicand. And then we looked at actually dealing it with numbers, which would be like the square root of 25. So here's what we call the radical symbol. And here's what we call the radicand. Okay, the number inside. And when we take the number squared to 25, what the square root represents, okay, is what two numbers multiplied by each other equals 25 or equals x in, this, in that instance. So the one way I like to always think about the square root, I don't know why I erased that, but think about square root, think about squaring something, right? So if we had 5, if I said square 5, that means we square it, right? Which means 5 times itself twice. 5 times 5 equals 25. So when we're talking about the square root, okay, the square root actually has a little 2 right here, um, which represents kind of that same operation of 2, but the reverse operation of what number multiplied by itself twice gives you our uh, number in the radicand. But square root is kind of like our base term, where we don't really write this 2 in there. Um, but for cube roots and for the higher up roots, we'll put that number in there to differentiate to um, to make sure we understand that it's not the same as the square root. So when we think about squaring, right, we think about it as area of a square. So if I said here's 5, and then I multiply by another 5, well, what we, the reason why we call it squaring is because 5 times 5 creates a square, right? And then the area is what 5 squared is. That's why we call it squaring. So when we're taking the square root, what we're trying to find is we're trying to find the roots of that area of the square that give it its value or its area. So if you can think of, if I say, what is the square root of 81? You can say, all right, 81 is my area. Then what two numbers are exactly the same? Oh, that's a little bit low. What two numbers are exactly the same that are going to produce me 81? Well, you can say, well, my two areas would have to be 9 times 9. That's why we call these perfect square numbers, because when we take the square root of them, we get a perfect square. So that's all the square root um, is really going to represent, is what number multiplied by itself twice gives you, that, uh, gives you that value. And so far, what I found out is these are perfect squares. And that's pretty much all I'm going to uh, give with. However, actually, I probably would be a good mention. That's from over here. If I wanted to find the square root of 10, what we can see is that's going to be an irrational number because that is not going to be a perfect square, right? There's no two numbers close. 3 times 3 gives you 9, but there's no two integers that I'm going to multiply it in to give me 10. So remember, when evaluating the square root, um, and there's a couple things we could do. We can always look into simplifying them or approximating square roots. In this instance, we'd have to approximate. But now I'm starting to ramble on, which I always like to do. Just know that the definition of the square root means what number multiplied by itself gives you that radicand number. Thanks.